about seven. Seven March twenty eighteen. Picking up from where we left off across the street. Price. But look how much I've gained. 
Town checking back in. You know, I've been down to the police station, the drugs. I've been running errands and let my shit charge. As I have, I shoot a lot. I'm constantly shooting because that's how you get police corruption. You never know when shit's going to happen if you're shooting, you catch stuff. Um, and so I'm burning through batteries like crazy. I have, um, like in some of my phones, I have like 124 gig chips in it just for videotaping them. Yeah. So, you know, I may shoot like quarter terabyte of footage in a week. Yeah. I burn through chips quick. I, I can imagine. Yeah. But, see, I don't sleep much. Because what I do, it turns into scary movies. Um, and I've mastered the art of not having to sleep a lot. And most geniuses don't sleep a lot, like Einstein cat napped a lot. Um, is there a way we can crack the window or something? Yeah. Um, and, and he didn't... Uh, didn't sleep a lot at all. And my thought has always been, I've got an eternity to sleep, I've got a lifetime to live. And so I want to be awake every moment I have the energy to be awake. Because I, I How do I do it here? Um, right here. Okay, yes, that's what I actually would like to. Um, I, uh, I have, because um, I love fresh air, I uh, have always um, had a passion. You know, I may be walking down the street with a speaker playing and, and singing and meeting strangers in the middle of the night. Sometimes they want to kill me. Other times they need something. Um, I've been the guy when I've had a lot of money, and I'm not doing this to break or anything, but we'll load up a limo and put blankets and food and shit in the trunk and then just drive around and ask people, hey, can I videotape your story of how I got there? And if they say no, I still give them stuff. Yeah. Uh, and if they say yes, then, you know, hey, here's what I can offer you for it. And I've gotten some amazing footage over the years on that. A lot of it has been stolen because my government doesn't want any of the stuff that I've been gathering. See, I'm the guy who can somehow end up on a military base or in a ship because I have clearance. <laughs> they still don't know how to get away with this. And then videotape shit and get off it. But then when That's they see, they, uh, they don't like that a lot. About, I'm, sure. They, I'm sure yeah. they get really irritated. Oh, you think? I mean, if you go and see some of the footage I've accidentally, it somehow, it, see, I keep telling you, you put me in jail too long, she'll start publishing. And when it publishes, I usually don't take it down for a long time. But, you know, stuff is published about the White House, meetings with FBI agents or other people, Homeland Security, where I'm really meeting with a real fucking person. This is not a script. This is real life. And people think I make this shit up when I say I do federal contracting. Cops think, you know, they'd like me to think I'm a homeless crackhead. No, if you want to see how cops really treat homeless, you can kind of look like you're homeless. And the footage you'll get will blow your fucking mind. Yeah. The shit I've gone through in the last... Mm, 24 months to get some of this footage and also to stay alive has just been most people wouldn't survive I would say 99% of people who tried it would have already been dead or killed by now I just am moving from downtown and that opened my eyes I didn't realize uh -huh. how much the homeless problem was a problem because uh -huh. everybody just ignores it you think but when I was staying down there I saw a naked man mm -hmm. walking in the middle of the street naked, walking down the street yep. nobody gave a shit Nobody gets uh, the no, let's go. Laying, that happens all the time. Laying everywhere, everybody. Or somebody gets the shot. Yeah. They may or may a not guy show. right in front of my building put his head in front of a moving bus. Yeah. To commit suicide. Because they can't take it anymore. And they and, and it's everywhere. And, yeah, it's and, rampant. And it's, like, and it's on the west side of here too. And honestly, that's why You can why be robbed on Venice Beach like crazy. I can't stay down there because it's like okay, I get it. I soaked in with the problem, but it's the I it's literally. It's so overwhelming. It's I'm toxically so, negative. How can you help every single one of you them? Can't. They all want that's a dollar. Why, that's why I said. Like, I'm going to be broke. If, if I I've gone my through over $3 million last year alone and being robbed and my own personal resources trying to put this film together. This year has already cost me $20 million. See, I've actually made billions in my lifetime, and that's documented in federal court because my second marriage cost me a four to $6 million company because her dad was a cunt who worked with the CIA and fucked up my company while I went on my second honeymoon with my wife from hell. Uh, my first wife was also high-level White House because you heard of James Baker, Howard Baker, 
Baker, Edward Baker in the White House, but in the Reagan and Bush administrations. Edward Baker was my father-in-law, and he was a fucking neo-Nazi drug guy in the FDA who made sure certain things were deregulated yeah. and other things. Were, he, so part of that sadistic cunt bunch. Up. Oh, of course. Yeah. And they were testing on homeless people, which I shouldn't be talking and about because it's classified deals. government secret. Yes, and they were taking out livers and spleens and giving them other people cross doing but they were also making advances in hydrogen peroxide therapy where they would flush hydrogen peroxide in someone's blood. What the fuck are you thinking? You want to drive them insane? Yeah. That's like putting straight acid into somebody's blood system. Mm -hmm. Why would you put something that's for outside antiseptic for like boils and pus to kill it into someone's bloodstream and think mm -hmm. that's okay? Yeah. Oh, no, it helps wash out um, the toxins that cause cancer. No, actually, a good shit would do that, and maybe some cannabis, and clearing out all of the fucking synthetics, and, and I would argue with them at the dinner table, you don't know what you're talking about, you're into drug, sex, and rock and roll, you're one of those democratic people, and, and that's why we made you marry me. They made me marry, they told me I would be shot by CAA sharpshooters if I didn't marry her daughter in Dallas, Texas. So I did, even against everybody's advice at ABC, they're like, she's fucking gonna drive you insane saying divorce or my boss boycotted my wedding. There were people who boycotted my wedding because they knew it was that bad. I was forced to marry my first wife because I predated Arnold Schwarzenegger and, 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 and the Kennedy girl getting married, the, the Republican and the Democrat because I was, my mother was a chairman of the Democratic Party and her dad was like head of FDA and her uncles were like in the White House of chief of staff and State Department, and so, like yeah. I said, I've been in, I didn't have a choice. Some of us yeah. think we have choice. Or you don't choose where you're born, and you don't choose who your, your family parents. members yes. are. You inherit dysfunction whether you like it or not. Yeah. If you're lying that you got the perfect family, go fuck yourself, yeah. you pious motherfucker. I'm over all of that. I divorce most of my family because they're fucking sadistic, sick motherfuckers. I want nothing to do with them. Yeah. They are self-righteous, and they'll judge you, and they'll yeah. tell you all everything they know about how you're fucked up. You. But you know what? Yeah. Hey, have you ever walked 10 million miles in my shoes around the planet, and did you ever stop a war in your lifetime? I got a ceasefire in a fucking war for four days. Not even a president's done that. So go fuck yourself if you yeah. think I'm insane, or I do too many drugs, or I'm too vocal. Hey, and by the way, let's thank the Catholic Church for the word fuck. Fornication under cardinal knowledge they used to stamp on files so people couldn't get remarried if they divorced in church and they couldn't be buried in the church as a control issue to keep you feeling guilty mm -hmm. fuck and now they get pissed when you use the word fuck but you know what it's the most versatile word I could be having a fun 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 fantastic time fun, fun. you can use it in an adjunct a pronoun an adjective you can say like fuck me fuck you go fuck yourself let's get fucked up yeah it's, yeah, it's I, such it's a versatile a word do you know another word more versatile than fuck no a cunt's getting up there with me. Yeah, a cunt's getting... I'm yeah. just saying that one, too. Uh, for lately. men or women. I don't cunt. know why I'm saying oh, that. Oh, by the way, uh, Susan, if you see this, my cousin Susan, first cousin, dear love, we almost got married. We had, we were playing doctor at age five. We are going to get married. We did. We lost touch for 30 years thanks to my government. She can tell you that she... There's actually video on the internet. You can watch where my government... My cousin is talking about how, because of what my government's done to me, she lost touch with me for 30 years. Most Wait, of the what? world did. Because yeah. I was on assignments or world travel. I can't say, well, I'm doing this with the CIA this week while I'm doing something for ABC over in... doesn't play well. Yeah. Your family thinks, you know, uh, how many drugs were you doing last week? And it doesn't matter how many drugs I was doing. ABC kind of freaked out when they found out when I was working here in Los Angeles um, that I was in the UCLA clinical time trial studies with um, Timothy Leary for the LSD project. But you know, it was in my contract that I could do research in outside development, and it was part of my research in outside development. So go fuck yourself! It's in my contract, and I got away with it. They couldn't fire me for it. They wanted yeah. to because they had just instituted a no drugging policy, but I was exempt from having to do any drug testing, even as management and talent. And I'm the only guy on ABC or NBC or any major network history who's ever been talent, management, into promotions. He controls the production. He can have his outside companies and syndicate to the world if the That's network doesn't buy it. That's in my contracts. And I'm the only actor to date that on Saturday Night Live has gotten company credits on Saturday Night Live. It's always Lauren Michaels, Broadway production, Lauren, uh, Lauren's and Universal NBC. Those are the only people that have production credits. But in my stuff, it says to hire me because I retired years ago. To get Kirk Kelly, you got to hire Live Video Inc. and they get producing credits. Kirk mm -hmm. Kelly VoiceOver gets producing credits or Disaster Relief. You don't get to hire me unless you hire my companies because I don't really work anymore. 
I just show up as a benefactor of you hiring my companies and putting yeah. money through my companies, and then I, I perform mm -hmm. for free and give the money away to the world. I don't keep money for me. I keep money to try and... I don't even have children. I don't even have a wife. I'm not doing this. I would love a wife. I really want to have children. It's been my broken dreams. The one thing that hasn't manifested properly yet, I've been married. I've done it more than once. I've tried relations. I haven't given up on women yet. Many times I got close. <laughs> but I don't go fool around. Like, I haven't had sex in years because I won't just sleep with some homeless person or some crackhead off the street. It's going to have meaning to me. It, it, mm -hmm. Or why? Go through all of the exercise. Yeah. Unless you're just friends with benefits, but then, you know, people still somehow get fucked up with that. Yeah, you just, that doesn't work. Well, or it's an open relationship, and it, unless it's somebody really open, you're, that still gets fucked up. I mean, yeah. there's just, there are variables, and I've been interested in exploring some, and I have explored some. Threesomes can be interesting, but I've only done it once. If I did it a hundred times, maybe I'd want to kill somebody at the end of it. I don't know. Yeah. I have heard from some people how that just works all the time, and from others how, after the second or third time, it ruined relationships. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Have you yeah. ever been in those kind of arrangements? No, I've never. You never explored. I, but I don't, because I Why? don't really date. Because. Are you afraid of you or them? Well, no, it's because I don't, if I'm in a relationship, I take it really, I don't really. So you've never I'm had like a threesome, and you've then never done I've only had one other So you only had two boyfriends boyfriend. in life? Yeah. Have like you ever the had the with. fantasy to explore that, or you no desires? Yeah, you know, like, me my, like me and my dude, like, yeah. we, yeah, I'm, I'm open We've to it. We've had two other girls over, and it turned out interesting. I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not close, I'm not a close-minded person. I never say never to anything. Right. I always stay open. Are you the one who would prefer the two women or the two guys? I don't know. I never like I said, about, I'm very, well, no, I have, but I, I just what was have your perfect vision? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. I'm surprised that you wouldn't know that. Or are you just not comfortable at talking about it? Probably just not, because I don't like to talk about it. Okay, and that's fine. And you can always say, you know, can we change the topic? I don't want you to feel yeah. uncomfortable. That wasn't the goal there. It was too, I know, I know. It was just peeling back the onion. Like, I yeah. like going to naked beaches. Some people freak out at the thought of that. No, I could go to a naked beach. Have you ever been up to Point Dune? Uh-uh. That's a clothing optional beach. It's down below Barbara Streisand's house and Johnny Carson and McEnroe. I don't find nude and stuff as a big... Do I wish more people, people would get over it because then if we had the naked truth, it'd be hard for people to lie. Most people don't understand the naked truth would actually make more honesty, I think, in, in the world. If people had to get over their prosthesis and their prosthetics and their fake eyebrows and their fake eyelashes <coughs> and their fake push-me-up bras and stuff, and they just saw the real shit all hanging out. Maybe more people would start different. to exercise, too, and stop yeah, sitting around like a job of the plant belly. Mm -hmm. Uh, or, you know, who's got stinky yesterday? I think it becomes real clear when you can see yeah. things the way they are, not That's the way true. we want them to be seen. Yep. So I wasn't doing that to freak you out, and I apologize. No, it doesn't. Not, it no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Because I want to be sensitive But you know, to that like, also. well, I, I want to talk about But I like, do want to be sensitive to that also. Yeah. Okay. I want to know, though, like, with channeling... Who are you channeling? Can, have you channeled to like the Pleiadians before? To the who? The Pleiadians. What is that? I don't know what that is. I haven't I heard that term. It's a, a race of Pleiadians. I don't know. Yeah, it's a race that. of Pleiadians around the Andromeda Galaxy. I don't know these terms. Where where do these come from? Off the internet? I haven't heard yeah. it refer to this. Um, do you have your phone? No. Look up Akashic. Do you have voice to do it, or do you do it by text? Um, do you type it out, or do you do voice recognition? I can do the voice thing, too. Akashic. Akashic. Akashic Records. Got my voice changed. Okay. I found this on the web for catching a cash check. No, Akashic. Akashic. No, this thing is so... Must have an app. I should probably call one of your numbers. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure, or text it at least. Texture data. If you call, you're going to have to still text your data because I won't have it. Okay. Um, do you want me to say it again or do you want to try and say it? It's Akashic Records, not Akashic Check. Akashic Records. A-S-K. I got it in my own phone. 
I can text it to you, but just try and say it yourself. Or write it. I don't know how to write it. I, I don't know how to glasses. Write it. Oh, yes, Master type J. Type it. Wait. Actually, I can type. How do you see? Hang on. Let's just do this. So then an emoji face. That's not. Oh, this is an Apple, isn't it? I don't know how to make it go back. I don't okay, use okay, Apple okay. anything. It's too hackable. A seventh grader could hack your ass and put you up on a jumbotron having a sex call. Uh, I'm not even joking. Um, can you put it on voice command again? I'll try to catch it. Gregor. I mean, you know what? It'll work on my phone. Here, we're I shopping. I thought the iPhones was secure. No, fuck no. It's the most insecure. I work in intelligence. I know this stuff well. This phone is more encrypted than that phone will ever think of being. My phones are all highly government encrypted. You can't a, hack them. A cast? Akashic, Akashic. Just say it like that. Akashic records. Just say it. You say it in your voice, or you don't want them to have your voice print. I, I don't know. Oh, here I found it. Okay. Click on it. What is Akashic records? You'll love this, I think. What does it tell you about Akashic records? Anything? Do you yeah, want to it says a lot. Maybe we should huh. watch a video. It's whatever you the want. The Wikipedia, but I don't really always trust that. Well, but people have to verify it. Here. Enjoy, enjoy. I've got another one rolled. If you don't have, they have a here. Have a cigarette. Okay. We'll, we'll trade. We'll It'll trade. It'll be the great smoke exchange. <laughs> It'll be the great pipe out. We're like the original <laughs> Indians rediscovering America. The white girl I from the other side of the world and the mutt from the side. Oh my God! The lights went up. That's fine. We're now in the dark. In the dark. Do you like rock and roll? I I do. I like all kind of. I'm not. I'm all very kinda, open. All kind of. Where are you from, girl? All, all, all kind of. Are you from the hood? Al Qaeda kind of music. You like Al Qaeda music? I moved music. around a lot. Where are you so, from originally? originally? Where are you born? From, I was born in Garrett, Co Garrett County. Where's that? Uh, Maryland. Oh, so you were born right outside of Annapolis? You're, you're like, my family lives you, like now. You work for the CIA, live. don't you? You're a CIA spy. No. Definitely not. I'm doing a real movie film about my life, and I need some care. Concept. Part of the deal with the Department of Justice and other departments is that I can't always put in the real characters. I have to change the name to protect the innocent. And if I put in the real people, and they get enough power, realize they could still whack you, even if you are telling the truth. And I'm going to reshoot my life story with taking real footage, and I may have to recast some stuff. But would you consider being in that film? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can well, you? Well, I want to look. I want to look more into. I don't, I don't know. I think you can. I think if you just are you and forget the cameras there, yeah, you've already been doing it. You have yeah. such a natural essence. I wish you'd let me put you on camera more because I love your smile. Your smile illuminates. Well, no, it. I can't sense other people's like a mo like I, I have think a good. If I were casting, you are casting mouth. I would kind of like telepath. Like I can kind of sense what people want. Like I kind of know what you kind of. We're driving towards. Or, well, like it's really easy. I. I'm really good with understanding. Pe I feel people's well, feelings. Well, have you also seen these? If you've already seen visions of this, whether they're conscious now or not, they're implanted there. So, if you've had visions of a scenario like this where others like that you're referring to, all it is is they're in there and you're living it out. Mm -hmm. You've already set the plan when you had those visions before. Yeah. What you saw went wrong and how you wanted to change it because you talked about it the next day to someone, even if it was yourself or God. Did you not? Like, what the fuck was that about? Yeah. <laughs> Explain. I constantly pray for divine intervention and me inspiration yeah. and send me angels. Like, send me a message. I know, yeah. Because I made the mistake. Be careful what you ask for. I made the good mistake or bad mistake, depending on who you talk to. I am not. I don't regret it. I asked to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. Because if I could see it all, then That's I could help save help. people. Yeah. I can't assume to know how to save someone in Crackville if I haven't lived down in Crackville to see what's really the fuck going on there. Yeah. And so many people are too quick to judge and pull a trigger and say that's the solution when in fact they are just basing it on armchair shit they read on a magazine or some shit drivel they saw on fake news and they haven't been on the front line so how the fuck would they have a clue anyway? Yeah. Why should they even have an opinion about something like that? Just shut the fuck up. Why don't yeah. you just learn and shut your mouth for a minute, use the two ears, and learn from what you're seeing from this, and then go, wow, I never knew it was really like that. 
yeah. instead of already being, oh, I'm not watching that because, you know, right it's, just, the it's his fault. He's The reason he's there is because he's a fuck-up. Uh, no, I've met some brilliant fuck-ups on the street yeah. that were put there by the government, ex-wives, other yeah. partners in business, the That's mafia, nice. um, the cartel, or they yeah. owe too much money for a gambling. Believe me, people up on the streets for a lot of fucking reasons, or they're off-grid because they don't want to do any of this fucking numbers game bullshit in society, and they don't want to be counted, and they don't want to be part of this wholesale homogenous bullshit we call yay this is a normal life go fuck yourself you yeah. should say what's normal if I want to scratch my ass naked in the woods that should be on me not on some asshole who wants to tell me you shouldn't walk naked in the woods why are the bears going to be offended yeah. they're already bare so they'll get over it yeah they're already naked yeah so the deer aren't having a problem with it nor the cows in the field so what's your fucking problem I'm just done with assholes and people who want to judge me or others based on their low-level, limited fucking myopic intelligence. Mm -hmm. And they think they have the right to say, oh, well, he's just gone, you know, Hollywood nuts and he's done too much of this or that or the other thing. Or, you know, he's just a... You know what? Go fuck yourself. I've invented more technology and done high-level research and development and worked with NASA, JPL, and every other fucking acronym on the planet because I have that mind. What when you hardly ever sleep... You have time to talk to everybody around the world. Yeah. If you're sleeping 8 to 12 hours a day, no wonder you can't get shit done. Yeah. Life doesn't really work that way. It runs 24-7. No one said you had to take this, that, or the other sleep except some doctor you read about or heard about. And maybe you bought into his bullshit. Yeah, I don't It's like doctor, heal thyself. It's not doctor, give me another pill. Yeah, our body's naturally... And by the way, heal. that pill is only tested against a placebo, not the other 14 things you're taking. You know how much research they have to do to test against every variable of every other drug that someone yeah. can give you? Give them. Go fuck yourself. And you should listen. The warning labels are kind of clear. Could cause sudden blindness. Could cause sudden yeah. depression. It's could cause you here. sudden rage. It could cause you to want to kill somebody. Yeah. Why are you taking that again? Please inform me. You know what, I've taken some of those same drugs that allegedly could do that stuff, and if I even started getting feeling a little that way, I got the fuck off them and said, Doc, this shit ain't working. Get the fuck away from me. I don't believe in, like, all those prescription medicines. It's causing more deaths and more suicides. Before a bunch of white dudes like started Mellon and Carnegie it. and other people got pissed because they thought cocaine was getting white women laid by black men or marijuana was getting Mexicans sleeping. What? Go fuck yourself, assholes. Okay. Yeah. Look back in time. Cannabis was in all foods and elixirs, and cocaine was even used in goddamn Coca-Cola because they're natural. It's when yeah. we started putting all the synthetic all shit in. And the reason like we didn't also want cannabis is, is because it would put Strauss out of business because it was stronger than cotton, so you can make tents and Levi's, and you don't have to control the cotton fields because anybody can grow cannabis, and it lasts longer than paper. Yeah, and it's... Why are we doing sustainable stuff that we've known as work through centuries? Oh, yeah. no, because with modern technology, we've managed to eradicate over 8 million life forms in less than 50 to 100 years. And if we keep it up, we can get rid of them all real quick and start over again. But it's all for money. Yeah. And power. Yeah. And to get rid of the 99% because we really don't need the 99 Yeah, we don't need the 99%. We don't need migrant workers. Now that we know how to cross-pollinate, hygienate, and do stuff in laboratories and indoor incubation, growing stuff inside, plus all the supplies for all those 20 billion people that we planned over the next 100 years, now we get rid of all those and we only have 200 million left. Look at the global warming stops and the footprint reverses, and now we can repopulate the earth again the way we want it and get rid of all those dumb, lazy assholes. That's the plan. They don't need the 90. They never got rid of slavery. They just call it employment. Now they don't have to house you. They can still mentally beat the fuck out of you. They yeah. can blacklist they can you. They can house. make you unemployed. They can fuck with you and your family, say your vacation time isn't up, you're working through the holidays. They can do whatever the fuck they want because it's called a job. And if you don't like it, go find another one. Hit the road, Jack. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, you ain't getting two weeks severance because you were insubordinate. Fuck you. They can fuck you and cut off your... You can't even get unemployment benefits. Sorry. You caused your own firing. You were a bad employee. Oh, great. How do I get a new job now? I was a bad employee. You can't even get unemployment. Now I'm homeless. Oops. Oh, it's your fault because you pissed off a boss. Oh, give me a fucking break. He was an asshole and he tried to rape me. Uh, That's why a lot with this Hollywood, like, can you I know, be your best friend? I know a lot of, like, have you heard, like, the, the Pizzagate files can and I stuff? Can I be your best friend? You can be my friend. I yeah. said, can I be your best friend? 
And will you be my best friend? What does that? Because I need a best friend. Yeah. I didn't say best friend with Memphis. I just said best friend. If you ever decide you want more from me, I'm sure you'll let me know. I won't have to beg and ask. If someday you think, wow, you know, enjoy. Um, I'm, I defy you to find a woman who has ever met me on the planet who says I've ever forced myself on them. I don't. I, I, would, I would want it to be because it was mutual attraction, not because it was the way to keep the job. Fuck that. You know what? I've had lots of women throw themselves at me because I do television and film for that very reason. Yeah, and and I you know, know what? That doesn't get me turned on. I don't on. feel threatened by that, by any person because I'm in control of myself and, you know, I'm not, you know, um, yeah. So that's I'm why in I said, will you be my best friend? And can I be your best friend? That's why I said. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I need a best friend. My mom was my best friend. She's been on the phone a long time. And unfortunately, my wives never became my best friends. They became my worst enemies. Something about keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer, I guess. I don't know. That's so That's twisted. All twisted. That's twisted. Yeah. But they became my worst enemies. So and they were my bed partners. So I guess I kept my enemies closer. So did my ex, too. I, I have a bad people picker because I'm not the guy who will paint a mask on someone and say well you know there were seven other million girls like you in the last umpteen years and so this is the way this has come down I try to teach every teach meet every person as a unique snowflake and take them on face value and that's why my best friend keeps telling me if I never gave another dime to another individual on the planet I've already given more than anybody's ever given he's actually correct on that because I will constantly be helping and giving like you know and just say hey can I get you a tea or whatever um not because, because I just, um, I believe in sharing and trying to educate people to the concept of we can get along. We don't have to constantly be at odds with each other. And if people get too negative too, for too long with me, I gotta get away from them. I can't handle the toxicity. No, I, I, I can't be around. It's toxic. I to can't me. be around negative, negative people at all. I can be around. Can critical be. people who are professional and they know what they're talking about. Yeah, I can tolerate somebody being an asshole then yeah. as long as they know what they're talking about. Yeah. But if they're talking out of their ass, do me a favor, shut the fuck up. Because yeah. at some point, if you don't, I'm either going to knock you out or i got to leave because I'm going to knock you out. Yeah. I can't Normally handle I always it. Have to, I always have to just leave. That's why I tend to... I, like, I have. That's why or like, if they've done it more than once and it's like the third strike, I'm like, you know what? First time I told you, the second time you did it again, and I told you, if you ever do it again, we're done. This is the time you did it again. You ever call me again, I ever see you again, I'll have you arrested as a motherfucking terrorist stalker. Get the fuck away from me. I don't want your energy ever again. Don't affect me, don't affect my companies, don't affect anyone I know. And I'm that clear with people. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, when you're leaving the city, shake the ash. Yeah, if I'm done with the relationship, I ain't looking back to see if we can be lovers in the future. Fuck off. Yeah. You wrecked my fucking day, my yeah, life, like you put done. me through hell. Done is done. Yeah. No meant no about 14,000 times ago. What yeah. part of this aren't you getting, dumb shit? Yeah. So we're on the same page, I think, in that. Are we mm -hmm. not? Yeah. So that's what I mean. I'm, I'm very passionate, um, but I, I just... I'm a hopeless romantic. I'm hoping someday someone will actually love me for me and want to have children with me and we raise some of the most brilliant, lovely children on the planet who are an inspiration for generations. That's always been my goal. It may never happen in this lifetime, in this incarnation. It may have to happen generations in the future, but it's, I've always had it. I've always seen it. I know, and for some reason, I just am typecasting the wrong people into that essence and it hasn't happened yet. And if it's meant to happen in this lifetime, I hope it does. And if it's you, I'll... I'll be going hallelujah. Thank you. You sent the angel. Finally got it. Took him. The creator took long enough. But you know, and if it's not, maybe you'll introduce me to her. Who knows what the future holds? I'm just open to the possibilities because I already know what it holds. And if we could find a way to change some of those possibilities, it could be a lot better. It's fucked up right now. I've worked my entire life for civil rights, for equal rights, transgender rights raised money for every fucking charity on the planet until I found out they were lying about shit and then stopped working yeah. with them. Yeah. And I, it hasn't been how much money I got or how much celebrity. There were times I was doing telethons for PBS to raise money at their auctions and shit. It was on for the entire fucking thing. And when I wasn't on the air there, I was on, you know, ABC or Golden West or one of the other networks I was working for doing my shows there and then rushing back to... There were times I didn't sleep for seven days straight because I was on set shooting around the clock. 
and I had people driving me between sets. I even had a full-time person working for me who was a bodyguard, make sure it shows up on time, and you can sleep in the back sleep seat for a few hours or in, in the back of whatever we're moving in while somebody else is handling driving for a minute. Um, I don't mind living that way because if I'm going at that speed and accomplishing that much, yeah. I'm touching millions. That's how I feel too. Like it doesn't matter where I'm at or I like to... You know, well, that's I'm why I'd like to spend time with you then to see if we face. can agree. Because also, in this world peace thing, it can't just be my face and it can't just be men's faces. It's got to be people who are younger like you. It's got to be men, women, and it's got to be a ra- it's got to be a rainbow coalition yeah, of people has, coming together yes. saying, you know what? We all can sign off on this. Let's yeah. have peace for these reasons. Let's get along for these reasons. Mm-hmm. And we'll set aside the differences for these reasons because it's the best for the commonality of the whole Universe. of the survival mm-hmm. of this thing we call Earth. Yeah. Because humanity is the art of Earth. And if you look at Earth, it's E. A R T H. So the E and the H are the odds out, but art is the heart of Earth. And if we keep fucking up the art of Earth, man, Mother Nature isn't going to be very forgiving this time. Yeah. Because we've already been fucking with the weather. She's very upset. Upset? Well, think about the Earth is a fine engine. But you start taking the oil out of it and the water out of it, and all of a sudden, shale's against shale against shale, all of a sudden it heats up to the core. We're causing the engine to melt down. Yeah. Global warming is fucking real, and yeah, yeah, we'll get real cold flashes because when Arctic winds are melting those things at record paces, those cold layers got to disperse somewhere into warmer climates. Mm-hmm. That's why we're getting record cold right now. This summer, it's going to be a hot motherfucker because yeah. it's part of the global warming. Mm-hmm. It's not a joke, man. What we're doing to this planet makes me want to just vomit. I know. It's sad. Yeah, it's hard for me to sleep. Like, like you know, oh, a lot of people... Peace. <laughs> No, seriously, wow. No, like, you know how a lot you of people... You know how much that warms they, my heart to hear you say that? Because how... people your age don't seem to fucking get it. People my age don't seem to get no, it. Like, they just buy government bullshit. No, I stay away, like, you know, and thinking Would about... You like some tea? No, I'm okay. okay. Thank you, though. Is there somewhere I can put it so it stops tipping over, though? Yeah. And at some second, I do have to run and use the bathroom because I realize it's been about 10 hours and that's the second iced tea and some water and stuff and now I have a gallon of tea talking to me through my telepathic through my organs screaming at me so if you don't mind can I take I know, a I brief? I know I kind of have to use the bathroom Well then why too. don't we both take a bathroom break and we'll come back and resume if it's okay with you and I really do want to schedule a time where we can get together and hang and maybe go do some shooting and if you want to go up to uh, Point Dune and hang out and camp out and you need to bring your boyfriend or not not to be sexual to hang get to know and see if you can help work on this concept for world peace because I need people to get this show done it's going to be a seven day broadcast seven continents major cities like Rio de Janeiro where I can get a million people partying for peace but it's got to be a tight list and who gets in how they get in because the last thing I need in my resume yeah he he did a week long concert for world peace and a million people got killed at the different sites. I, I gotta have really tight intelligence. There can yeah. be no fuck ups. There can be no apples on sets. If you're gonna work with me, you'll have to get on Android. Um, it is being run through an NGO, which, do you know what an NGO is? I know I'm going fast. NGO is non government organization. Okay. Yeah. We're registered with the IRS, we're registered with the UN, and with governments around the world as a humanitarian interest non profit, 501c3. Mm-hmm. So people can donate to us to help because I got to raise about $3.5 five billion dollars in the next 16 months to pull this off because I want to do a week-long 24-7 broadcast with concerts going off in different cities and we beam up certain parts of it mm-hmm. and broadcast it in 360 virtual reality so awesome. people can really be there but yeah. if there's a concert part like the stones are playing in China and we can't do the whole thing <laughs> yeah. and we're going to cut it off you can buy the special channel feed and still be in China okay. with the Rolling Stones and then you can flip over and get some chili peppers in Rio de Janeiro yeah. and you can kind of program your own concert for world peace with your family and friends if you want mm-hmm. if we can offer that to the world yeah we then- got the whole world at once engaged in this giant new 360 broadcast rock concert video game that's never been done before while we're immersing with them it's time to get along people and showing messages of destruction and carnage and and it's time to wake up that feeding Christians to lions and gladiators and Attila Hunt and Hitler and Donald Trump just don't work anymore oh I said Donald Trump didn't I I meant to say Donald Cunt I do have to piss it's okay I gotta go too yay
I truly love you and your energy, and I mean that in a very loving way. I truly love you today. Yes. Oh, Stop yes. it! <laughs> I, know, I truly love you. I think I have been so blessed today to meet you. I truly do. I hope you don't I turn. I definitely have been blessed I, I to hope, meet you too because I, everything. I hope that... you don't turn out to be a psychotic bitch. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm I don't very, sense that. I'm a very genuine. I I just feel like I've met my soulmate. No, if I'm a if, very if I was supposed to meet a soulmate, wow, girl. I don't, I don't know I've about ever, soul, like, but as far, like... Well, soulmate, the way they like, refer to it here, like, now we're soulmates, or, we're, yeah, fuck off. It's like yin and yang, the opposites attract, but we're not really opposite, because we have parallel thinking about an opposite world. Yeah. There is the difference. We've gone beyond the yin and yang. Yeah. We're in the same parallel universe, looking at what's wrong with the dichotomy of this right world. Right now. It's yeah. fucked up. Yeah. And there's only so much time left to save it because the date they already That's have scheduled like is 9 19, 19. Think about it. That's yeah, not that I'm far away. So it's in 18 months. That's why it's been stressing me out. Like how. That's why I said we need to spend time. I keep time. telling, like, I keep telling everyone. Does your boyfriend like, realize how close it is? No, he's very, like, all day, all he does, like, if, well, when he oh, has geez. time, all he does is we're watching. I know this so broken. Um, we're always. And what's it? watching things together. Well, if you start looking at some of these things I'm telling you, I can text you no, others. He would love it to would blow talk your mind, like that. harp down that. Well, do you want to have him come over and join us for a few minutes? I, I, don't, I don't mind meeting no, him. All right. I, I want you to feel comfortable if you need him around. I, I, no, I'm my own person. Yay. I'm so am I. I'm my own girl, too. I guess. Yes. yes. At least I thought I was when I was born. Um, yeah, I know. That's the, thing of the um, codes are different for yours. I know mine is one, two, three, four, five. I don't know what yours is. They don't give them to the opposite sex for good reasons. I hear. So I don't know what your code is. She needs a code to the women's room. Or not. Ah. <laughs> Down. Wow, how fascinating. I don't even know her name yet. <laughs>